Let's do it. So you got a, you got a Reddit for us? Oh yeah. You said I get a kick off this one? I think so. It's about a a, 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 a person's diet. So I okay. think you can enjoy it. So there's one friend in the friend group. Are we going off that ramp? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I guess. Oh, we're <laughs> what was your thing there, huh? I don't. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> oh god. Um, oh god. Okay. So this one cool. friend in the friend group, they always have social gatherings and stuff. But this one friend, he went keto and he lost a bunch of weight, and everybody was happy for him. Yeah. But cool. um, he always complains that at their their social gatherings, they never have food that he can eat. But he also never makes an effort to bring the food that he can eat. Okay. So. Oh, that was it. People are just generally annoyed by that, but they keep inviting him. And then this one time, the person, the OP of the post, <clears throat> uh, had a little get-together at their house, and she made a bunch of these sandwiches, like beef sandwiches or whatever. Uh, and since this guy's keto, he went through and he ate all the beef from the sandwiches and left the bread <laughs> oh on the tray. Oh my god. And then he thought he was justified because the beef is the only thing that he could eat, and everybody else could eat the bread. And so they stopped inviting him. Yeah, that's that's extremely incredibly obnoxious. Um, also, keto is not a permanent lifestyle choice, like like vegetarian and vegan. It's actually well, yeah. It seems not, like it's good if you're trying to like yeah for losing weight. And it's stuff. not. It like it it's not really actually well good that. for you long term because your body needs carbs for energy. Like carbs aren't this thing that you can just be like I don't think I need those anymore. Um, so it 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 can kickstart weight loss. At the end of the day, though, all that weight loss is, is calories in, calories out. And keto is just a mechanism for which people are able to restrict their caloric intake. Yes, there's the, it, it, it puts your body into ketosis or whatever, and you end up maybe having a slight increase in your... It'll be on your, ketosis. Yeah, you might have a slight increase in your basal metabolic rate when you're in ketosis, but it's... Basal? Basal metabolic rate, yes. I didn't know basil had such a large metabolic rate. Part part of this. Yeah. Um, basil. But anywho. Is that how British people say it? I feel like I've heard somebody say basil before. Uh, I don't know if it's spelled the same way or if that's like somebody's name. Because I've heard, isn't there someone in James Bond named Basil or something? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. I probably just made that up. Um, but yeah, I anyway. just love the idea of like leaving a bunch of like soft soaked pieces of bread on a tray yeah. and then eating all the, all the just, insides with just the bacon you can eat the bread with just like the beef essence rubbed on them <laughs> the, yeah. the remnants but and apparently he just thought that was like a legitimate he was just like yeah I can eat the beef but you guys can eat the bread so it's fine um, and then he stopped getting invited to places anyway though uh, just going on a keto diet I, it just it's not really a lifestyle change is all permanent lifestyle change you can use it to lose weight But that's why I just don't believe in diets in general again, and I've, I've been over your feelings it on paleo I just don't I just don't buy into diets you need yeah. to you should eat you should eat a healthy mix of all uh, food groups and Eat restrict your calories accordingly like you shouldn't you can't just shovel unlimited amounts of even the healthiest thing into your body because you will gain weight from it if you are intaking more calories than you're burning like you if you could eat like so broccoli has very few calories cuz it's uh, mostly water that's what most green vegetables are but if you were able to eat like 10 kilograms of broccoli a day you would gain weight on just broccoli that's all there is to it eat healthy foods and eat the proper amount and you will lose weight um, what about celery? Isn't celery like... Yeah, celery is... I, 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 people argue it's like negative calories because it actually takes yeah, more energy to digest than it is providing to you. It's mostly water. Um, it's okay because celery is kind of gross if you just eat it. But on its Celery and name. peanut butter, though, is good. No, it's too bitter. I'm into celery and peanut butter, but that is many calories because any, anything with nuts and oils is uh, the most calorie-dense foods you can eat, really. Yeah, uncooked celery, not for me. Cooked celery, like in a soup or a sauce or something? Ooh. God, why am I getting wrecked here? Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, you, you, carbs are kind of important. And then, then I saw I someone in carbs. chat, I saw someone in chat who was like, not if your keto is not a 
just a temporary thing if you're diabetic. And I'm like, look, there's always going to be a medical thing that is a, that will go in contrast to something I'm saying, right? But in general, if there is no uh, medical issues that must be accounted for, you just want to eat all types of calories, protein, carbs, and fats. What's your favorite food group? Uh, oh, I mean... Mine's butt. Mine's... I was gonna say pizza, but you went there. <laughs> so salad, you mean? I even sense I I dressed that one down. I didn't say the other word. Yeah. Yeah. What's the other ass? Yeah. I mean. Well, now you said it. I could have. That's it. not like that bad. Ass well, I don't know. I'm trying to. Ass you know isn't what? even a swear. What... Is it not? I don't think it is. It's a donkey. I think I've DNF'd. One time when I was a kid, uh, my family went horseback riding, you know, like on those guided trails or whatever. Yeah. And uh, I had a nice time. And then at the end, I got off of my horse and then I realized it was a fucking donkey. Okay. Were you I felt just, so betrayed. I was like, what the hell? Were you just like done dirty and everyone else was actually on horses? Yeah, everybody else had a horse and I, well, I was, I think it's because I was like the smallest or something. And they had no the horses time? small enough for you? I guess. I don't know. Maybe it was like, can, can you breed horses with donkeys? Is that a thing? I think you can. I think they're I hybrids. Say, I was about to say a combo word of horse and donkey, <laughs> but I'd say that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> A doors. Let's go with a doors. <laughs> doors. Oh, a mule. Oh yeah, mules. That's what oh, a mule, that's is. What a mule no, is. I guess it was a mule, not okay. a donkey. <laughs> that's probably what it was. <laughs> for some reason, I thought mule was just like another name for a donkey. It's a Moscow. Ooh, that's a, that's a good one. Mm-hmm. Tin cup only though. Copper, actually, you noob. Yeah, sorry, I meant copper. I got my Minecraft alloys mixed up. Okay. Even though they're not alloys, those are just elements. Um, but is it yeah. copper? I think. Oh yeah, it is. It's well, copper mug. Yeah. yeah. Why is that? What's the? Is that like just a tradition thing? I, I don't know exactly what. <coughs> oh god, what the heck? Uh, I think it is just a traditional thing. Yeah. Okay, we made it. Good. We good. We they good. did it in Moscow. <gasps> Moscow back in the day. You bet. It's an old Russian tradition. Have you ever had... I don't... Is it just called like a whiskey mule? Essentially, it's just whiskey you with substitute. Ginger. Yeah, you swap yeah. the vo vodka for whiskey. Yeah, That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I, I like all kinds of mules, basically. Ginger beer is like a tier one drink, period. Even on its own. Yeah, it's pretty good. You just... The thing is... Uh, there's like... There's varying disappointment things when it comes to drinks. <clears throat> one, Moscow mule not served in a copper cup. Two. I don't really care about that that much. If it comes in a glass. The big really one can. though. The big one though is you order an old fashioned and they just throw a bunch of like regular ice cubes in it instead of the big clear one. Like that's the, like the circular fancy one or it something. It's not circular, but it has to be a large clear or just ice a big, cube. The big chunky one. Yeah. yeah. If they don't do that, I know it's going to be a terrible, terrible drink. Um, it's just like if I have it's not muddled. I send it back. Well, no. Okay, so there is actually a very direct correlation between how good the drink is made, and if it has the single ice cube versus the multiple. Um, well, yeah, I have, it has to do with like the, the, how it dilutes or whatever, Well, right? no, there's obviously, you have the lower surface area, so it takes longer Did to melt. Did you go high road or low road? I'm high with you. Um, no, but it's not even about that. I'm just saying, right when you get it served, straight from the bar, it's just that any, any place that prepares it with just a bunch of peasant ice cubes, um, <laughs> any place that prepares with peasant ice cubes, it just never tastes good anyway. Even if it had a big ice cube in it, it's just they're mixing their proportions. Not good. Not good. That's how you know. Yeah, probably. I went to a, uh, I was at this hotel place. God, what the hell? I, I just, did you just run into that? Yeah, rock nice. Too? I was in this, um, like hotel lobby a few weeks back and I ordered an old fashioned and it was like, it's a nice hotel. And they bring me a thing, it's just a bunch of peasant ice cubes in it, and I taste the thing, and I'm like, 
Wow, this is the worst old fashioned I've had in like a very long time. God, no! Oh, sucks to suck. This is ultimate first world problems. Absolutely. Uh, that definitely does scream. It doesn't scream mixology. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude, you got it. It screams gotta... like local bar in your hometown. Yeah. Isn't there something else about like with the way you prepare ice cubes or something like it, like to make them like clear? You use like hot water and then you put it into the mold. Yeah. And then so you, you uh, you can actually buy a clear ice cube maker on Amazon. I've thought about doing it. But I forget. You have to um, do something to get all of the air bubbles like bubbled out. It's some like you use distilled water and then it bubbles it out or something. But it's it's not super easy to do unless you have a machine. Oh, I want for it. Nice. Yeah, you did. Whatever, dude. Whatever. It's the last time that happens. Even if you take distilled boiled water though and you freeze it in the regular tin, it's not gonna work. You have to do some other thing. Aren't you not supposed to have distilled water? Uh, I think there's like varying degrees, but anyway, anyway, until next time.